Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We are on Black Badger Lake on the Wisconsin map. I've spent about half an hour in the garage getting vehicles lined up for what I want to do today. There's a truck down here. I don't know if it's a Kodiak or the the boar that you get for free by finding it in the game. I already bought a boar um, by going to a Russian map and just purchasing it and then retaining it. So I already have a boar, but maybe this is the free one. I know you can find one one on the map. Um, Then I've got a generator. That cargo creation, I don't know, there, <laughs> um, has um, a generator at it. So I've got the Pacific 512 with a fuel tank on it, ready to go hook up to that generator. And then I've got <clears throat> a job lined up that I will accept when we get that, when we, when we get there. Um, because I don't know what this is going to entail. Do it, Will I need to fix it? Will I need to tow it somewhere? Or can I simply recover it to the garage? So let's go find out. Let's jump in this. Kraz Chabor's over here. And let's go see what that truck is. I don't want lost supplies on my screen. I was thinking about doing a couple, three of these small jobs besides grabbing, running around with a cat eye or an M134 and grabbing some jobs. But I think I'll just grab the jobs as I get, as I have reason to be over there. Like if I need the fuel, if I need the fuel, if I need the wood, or, I, or if I need this fuel, you know, something that gets me over there. And then I'll run down and grab it. Like maybe I'll go grab Aftermath when, when and look before you leap when I'm down here with the crass, you know. Anyways, that's the, the idea. And I forgot to do what I was going to do. Stop tracking. That Pacific PF five twelve, I just to give you an early you know my my early e expression of it I bought a generator for it and then I remembered that there's one over there already so I tried to back it up just a you know a few feet to get rid of the generator that I don't need and as soon as the generator jackknifed a little bit the Pacific flopped over on its side that's a Kodiak yeah 
I remember getting a Kodiak last time I was here. I don't remember what you have to do for it, if you just get it, or, or if there's a job for it. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to see if I could switch to it. Nope. So there must be a job for it. I don't know why I, I keep screwing up on the buttons. I want V, I push M. If I want M, I push V. It's, it's just like if I want to go to the bathroom, I, I walk over to the refrigerator and, you know, explain that. Why, oh why, did he go there? Please, please help me get my friend's car out of the bog. I will pay you. Is this the job for that? Yeah, it's, this is the job for the Kodiak. But where's House on the Hill? What's oh, up there? Um, oh, I guess we could get that done. I don't want it to take up too much time and we don't have time to finish the other shit. But, um, actually, you know what? I, I'm going to leave that until... I have time to come back to it. Because that's not access to location. If I have time to come back to it, I'll do that and I'll see what aftermath of the hurricane is. I think that one is picking up some barrels or something I don't remember I did it not too long ago but that doesn't matter so I'm just gonna leave this right here and switch back to this Pacific. See if we can get this hooked up to the generator without um, putting it on its side again. There's no offline winch on this thing. But it doesn't have to go very far. It's rear wheel drive with nothing but a diff lock. And the only reason I'm taking the time to get this crafting station functional is because I'm, it produces metal beams and I need two of them. Oh. Controller's gonna start doing the battery thing.
we got it up the hill. It has to sit in that square right there. So I'll bring this around, hook up, shouldn't be any big deal. Although I do want to keep Come on. I want to keep this close to the building. See if I can rope it over to me. Want to keep the truck close to the building to just to physically keep it out of the way. Once the trailer's hooked up, I might not be able to move the truck. The way it's looking. It's sitting there, bouncing the wheel and barely moving without the trailer on it. But let's, let's see if it'll do something. That's good, that's good. Okay, one more move ahead. Let's get the trailer to break the plane. There we go. Shut the truck off. See if, make sure we can turn on generator. Outstanding. Might as well leave it run for now, because I'm gonna be right back to get some metal. All right. We did it, we got that rockin' and rollin' piece of junk over here. Did I say that out loud? Piece of junk. Anyways. Um. This, I want down at the railroad yard, but it's not imperative right now. Tempted to just go ahead and drive it over there, it's not that far. But let's get um, weightlifting. No. Starting the power plant. There we go. Activate that puppy. Uh, 
hop in this Kraz and go get two units of metal. I had the view on the back of the trailer because that as of with that generator is what I flipped the Pacific with. And I wanted the view on the back of the trailer. I'm swinging really wide like that, so I don't run over the top of those signs. If the trailer knocks it down, that's fine. I don't want them under my truck. Telephone pole versus boom on the crane. And yes, I'm using the crappy six slot that I don't like. see something. There's two paths here. Uh, the other one must go up here. Thought maybe I could drive all the way around. Oh, that's probably a metal framing building because what I need is two metal. No cargo to load, but I can craft two metal beams. I don't believe I can get fuel from here now. I wrote in my notes where I can get fuel, where I can get consumables. And I can get some consumables from here, I think, but there's a different place that's closer. Um, there's six fuel at the railway and two more at the warehouse so I can handle that over there Get out of here. Too shabby. 
I really actually just got lucky on the missing the power pole. I didn't even notice the power pole until the trailer was four feet away from it. But I, by then I noticed I was going to miss. But what I should have said was, you know, perfectly executed as usual. <laughs> you know, all skill, I planned it that way. Okay, third time with the batteries. and old ones and new ones. Well, came on. Now this goes to the power plant. I could actually you know, it makes sense to stop and hit the warehouse for the two fuel, go to the power plant, fully loaded. So when I get to the fuel station up ahead, I want to turn left and hit the warehouse that's just down the road. Look at all the rocks laying in the intersection. Now from here I get two fuel. Tight to go from this way around. Shit, there's another driveway. If you kept going straight up, there's another driveway that brings you right in without making this hard turn. fuel one of the two that's all the fuel that this warehouse had and now to the power plant I could probably go back out no I was thinking that driveway but no I want to go out to here straight across the intersection and then Look at that trail leading off up into the woods. I would imagine there's uh, 
wood framing or metal framing, brick framing, some crap like that up there. I don't want to go over the top of the sign. Trailer caught on something momentarily. Probably that stump. Look at all the damage when you go over those rocks. Cargo management. Spin this thing around. Do that. And yes, I can get rid of two fuel. And then two metal beam. Got rid of one thing entirely. And Two fuel and hit escape and back out of here. I need to go around the rock and then swing the cab over. I just realized this trailer has chains on it. Now we go to the rail yard. We go back to the fuel station. Take a right down this road. Everything else we get from the rail yard. This is a nice easy job to get out of the way right away and it gives you two access to location. around so we can see what we're putting on the trailer. Um, I need six more fuel which would top me off and then two cargo containers which is four spots and two consumables which makes the load six spots all together. So let's find some fuel. We'll finish off the fuel.
and this place only had six fuel, so that's why we got the other two from the other warehouse. See, that's something I made sure I made sure of before. <laughs> that's something I made sure of before I started recording where I could get the product from. So look at the car disappear into the asphalt now. It was fun hitting it, yes, but the main reason I did so was so that it would disappear and not be there anymore. Let's go back to the power plant. What if there's a... There's no better way. There's no shorter or quicker way. I'd have to go all the way around the lake. I just hate this part right here. It slows you down so much. Didn't have internet yesterday, by the way. So no video yesterday. Um, it was mid-afternoon, I got internet back today. I think probably because it warmed up enough for the snow to melt a little. I think the tower was probably covered in snow. Um, I live north of, uh, I live in the hill country north of San Antonio, way out in the country. Um, and one day it was 70 degrees and sunny, and the next day the bottom dropped out. Um, the next night was only 26 degrees, then it got down to 22 degrees and snowed. Uh, the next night was 5 degrees and we got more snow. Um, it got up to 26 today. That's the warmest it's been in three days, four days, something like that. Um, water, f I, you know, I live in a 22 foot travel trailer, so water froze up. I managed to thaw out the spigot coming out of the ground, the faucet coming out of the ground, and got water from that into a couple of empty gallon tea bottles. And um, so I've been relying on having two gallons of water to live on. I'm down to one now. Um, can't go anywhere because Texas doesn't know how to clean streets. 
the city has the city of san antonio has trucks that they go out and sand the bridge decks and shit with um but out here in the boondocks nobody makes any attempt whatsoever to clean any roads The stores aren't even open. The grocery stores and gas stations and shit. Um, San Antonio didn't get hit as hard as far as the snow. So they have some gas stations open and their, their AGB or their grocery store is running on reduced hours but it is open um, up here I don't even have a fucking grocery store open and I've got two slices of bread left a couple English muffins and one more bowl worth of one more bowl worth of cereal um, milk milk for one more bowl of cereal but it's supposed to be above freezing tomorrow we ended up getting about six inches of snow and the coldest I saw it was five degrees But you have no idea as you've done it. Oops. Um, how hard it is to keep a travel trailer warm when it's five degrees outside. Or 15 or even, you know, 22 for that matter. I had the heater, well, my propane furnace quit a couple of months ago, and I never did anything to fix it. I never... I just, I guess I assumed it would be too expensive. So I just let it go. I have an electric heater, I plug that in and start using it. And that was fine when the temperatures were staying 35, 40 degrees was the low temperature at night and it was getting 60, 70 in the daytime. But then it hits um, you know 22 degrees and then next night was 15 and then the next night is 5 Jesus fuck that electric heater was running 24 hours a day and I still had to light the burners on the stove with both burners going full blast it ended up like 93 degrees in here before I realized that gee it was kind of hot <laughs> um, so I was able to cut it down to one burner about halfway up 
and I made it through the five degree night. And, you know, it only got up to 15 for the high. I know that's, you know, above zero is warm weather for some places in the country. I talked to my mother in Minnesota. I used to live in Minnesota. I lived there for 43 years. But I talked to her and when it was, it was like, um, Noon, one, something like that. And it was 15 degrees outside for me. And she said it was negative two. And it was supposed to get down to 10 or 15 below zero that night. So that's a 30 degree swing, 15 above to 15 below. Although I think that night it got down to about, it, got, it said five on my phone. I don't have an outside thermometer. I live in Texas. You know, it's hot or it's mild. We don't see cold very much. But even the park owner that has a bobcat, he uses it for the park here if he needs to, you know, level out the gravel. Somebody, somebody moves out, so the spot is empty. He'll go in and he'll rake the gravel back and forth. And so it's fixed up for the next person. Um, he couldn't be bothered to get on his bobcat and clear the asphalt road that winds through the park between all the trailer spaces. The um, residents of there, there was half a dozen or so residents of the park that wanted to get out. And the driveway is a really steep hill, really steep. I mean, some of the trailers will frickin' drag. All right, finally we can make bricks and rolled steel. You may benefit from this too. Make bricks and rolled steel, that's awesome. Um, let's see, 44 minutes. Maybe we'll take that truck up the hill. Just leave this where it is. Although really, I wouldn't mind just leaving it right here because I gotta pee. But anyways, um, I did accept this job, didn't I? No. No, I didn't. Show task, accept, start tracking, close, and back up to that thing. As I've stated before, 
SnowRunner likes to put all these recoveries as backwards. Well, guess what? It's going up that frickin' hill ass backwards, too. I'm not gonna waste my time. Screwing around with SnowRunner's games. It looks like I didn't hook up to the rear. Hooked up to the side. I might have to take care of that. Unless it just keeps following me. Uh oh. Yeah, I better pull ahead a couple feet and make sure I, uh, I'm actually hooked up to the asset. There we go. It's just, I, you know, I've been playing this long enough that I'm sick and tired of snow runners little petty little games you know when you gotta go for um, recovering a vehicle it's always positioned backwards from how you need to tow it where the truck is sitting to where it needs to go That is done. Outstanding. Except, shut the truck off. That took like five minutes. Because I didn't bother to try and turn the truck around. Now, the last little piece of business, which I wasn't even sure if I'd have time for. I, so the truck does not disappear. Say they do an update in the past, whenever they did an update, anything that wasn't vanilla disappeared off the map I'm not saying it would on the live server but it always did that on the PTS so I this is a vanilla as of 5319 so should that happen again the truck that I start and stop the generator with and refuel the generator with will not disappear. That's also why I used the Pacific on the other one. It's a D vanilla trucks and DLC trucks will not disappear when they do an update. But, uh, and as of 5319, even vanilla is a pretty darn good truck. It's a little more tippy than it would normally be with that big fuel tank on it.
that trail there will get you over by the wooden bridge, which is broken still right now. But you can cross the river. You can take that trail down to the bridge, go up and across the road, down the other side, down the other, the opposite embankment, and then go across the river, driving on top of the rocks. This is that other turn into the warehouse. I never knew what that was, why that was there before. Goes behind the fuel station, takes you straight into the warehouse. Come on, baby. disconnect the trailer and then tow it over to me. Let's do that. All those trees up there. Well, let's see what I can find. Whoops. No visible witch attachment because the one I hooked up to immediately broke. Hmm. I thought without the extra weight it would just take right off. attachments. Can I find anything to the rear if I reattach the trailer? Something there. Will it hold? Let's try forward again, but see if I can get a winch right off the bat. Broke. Well, I tell you what. We don't need to load anything from here. If we're going to need to load something, it's back down there where I'm trying to take that generator. So, let's go hook up that Azov to the ass end of this trailer.
just get the nose pads. There we go. Trying to drive and get my camera right at the same time. Multitasking doesn't work too well. <laughs> At least not when I have the one hand on the controller and the other on the mouse. Like I said, I hate this water hole. There's some bigger rocks further out, but I've tried everything from the shoreline to those big rocks, and there's nowhere to get across this where you can use, to, where you can get any speed. any good traction. Is it not gonna let me hook up? It's not gonna let me hook up to the truck from the ass end of the trailer. Snow runners bullshit games. Or maybe this case it's the mod developer, but I've been having that problem a lot with these modded trailers. You can't hook up to the truck with them. Well, this thing has a long line. But it won't hook up to the front either. Did the engine shut off? I bet the engine shut off. Come on. I need to get that out of the corner. Uh, I can't click on it. My engine was running. Let's see if I can go the other way around. Hey, look at that. But you know what? The second I switch to the other truck, it's going to disconnect. So all I can do is try and use it to like this. I can drive the crabs from back here. I don't even have to pull the winch. The crabs will just power up and move forward. It's like having two players. But I can't steer the Kraz.
but now I can set that parking brake, go back to the crowds. and get it out of its current predicament. Makes me wonder how many people knew that. If you hook up to, uh, you bring out a truck to tow another truck out of a swamp like that or something, whatever. Um, you can essentially drive the tow vehicle from the towed vehicle. When you hit throttle on the back truck, it'll throttle up the front one. Not that you could expect to drive it very far like that, but it got me out of the out of the mud hole. And see because I got stuck, now I'm over an hour, but oh well. Here's where you craft and load freight. Back here is going to be where I want the generator and the truck. And rather than try to swing a really tight U turn, I'm going to come out here and swing a wide U turn. Keep it in tight. And right there. That should be fine. It's not straight perfectly, but there's two axles in the square. Good enough. There's generator. We'll turn it back off. Close that, shut the truck off, and say thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.